Hey everybody and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. Well, the holidays are over and I am way behind and I, I'm pleased that some of the other content creators were behind on their 55 project too. But I'm back on mine and I've made so many changes. Um, but I want to share that with you, so stick around. Okay guys, lots of changes I've decided to make on this. Uh, colors, the paint scheme, I'm hoping the custom decals get in in time, but if they don't, I've got a fallback that I've, I've got ready for that. This is um, the next to the last coat of primer. Uh, you see where I've got the final coat of uh, mud on here. And final sand, and then we'll be knocking out the paint. I'll probably have color on it tomorrow because I'm going to do the wet sanding on this, get everything smoothed out, and get our first color on it, uh, probably first thing in the morning. And open the uh, cowl vent, which I'm known for, uh, built the box in there, and then of course the vent will be raised uh, with the screen in there. And the biggest change is, as you remember, this Zephyr Lincoln V12 engine is what was going to go in it. And the initial test fit before the firewall was installed, and you see I built in and filled in the firewall. There'll be a little more sanding in there, too, to smooth that out. But with the radiator even move forward and the firewall indention deepened a little bit, turns out that V12 will not work. Uh, it's just too long. I can't get an electric fan in it. Can't do any of that stuff. So that's going to be out. So... Um, Matthew sent me a 460, so we're going to be assembling this tomorrow too. So we'll be putting our uh, 460 engine in it uh, right now, and pretty much everything else is done. I'm pretty much using the stock uh, suspension. I didn't want to go all out on that. Uh, this is more of a for looks. I have cleaned up, smoothed out a lot of the stuff that will have carbon fiber on it. The dash is totally reworked. It's in primer in the dehydrator right now. I'll show you that one in the next video. Um, I'll probably do one one more video, maybe two, uh, ahead of time. And I'm down to two sets of wheels, one of which are some artillery wheels, which are some 16-inch. Let's see, I'll grab one out here real quick. Um, well, this is the style anyway. They're wider than this one, but you see the artillery wheel, and it's got the baby moon hubcap in the center. And all of the, the other ones, I've got a couple sets of these. The other ones are in the dehydrator with primer on them, but I was thinking these would look good. Ooh, my white wall popped out there. Would look pretty good sitting, uh, sitting up under there. Or... For what I'm doing, I really kind of like these. These are from uh, Pegasus. And uh, these, for what I have in mind, I think these just look cool too. So I'm swaying more this way. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. And you see, as a custom goes, the bumper, uh, I'm not using the kit bumper. We're going to have all that glassed in and nice and smooth back here too. And again, the uh, door handles and, and the handle back here for the door, that's all been removed. This will have the electric latches uh, that pop open. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking this looks pretty good. It is going to be a two-tone paint job. And like I said, I'll have the first uh, color on it in the morning. And maybe by tomorrow night, I'll uh, hit it. Uh, depending on how it turns out, um, I may rub it out and I may do a clear coat. I'm not sure yet. But uh, I'm really pleased with that. I'm a little disappointed that the V12 is not going to be able to fit it. But uh, eh, it is what it is. The hood, I removed all of the scripts. And uh, the emblems and that uh, strip that goes down the center. I want this to be a true custom. Had to do some sanding in here. By the way, this hood did not fit very well. BG, uh, Brian over at BG's Model Workshop did an outstanding video on how to fix that. I did it, I like his way better than the way I did it, but I just kind of sanded here and there until I got the fit nice and tight. Um, his way would have probably been shorter too, but this will be in primer um, as well. But uh, I got a good fit there. 
And pretty much everything else is going to be kind of sort of stock because this is going to be unique. And I'll give you a little hint on, on something. Um, I took a piece of 5,000s. I'm pretty sure it was 5,000s. Where's my caliper? Uh, 5,000 sheet plastic. Might have been 8,000s. I don't know. No, it was 5,000s. And I made a taco shell. And what do you see what that's going to be used for? That's that's going to be kind of cool. That's going to be kind of cool. Um, let's see. What else was I going to show you? Now, you know what? I'm going to let the colors be kind of a surprise. And I think that's it for the moment because everything else is all over primer. And Oh, the radiator. The radiator we're going to do in uh, the radiator style that I like to use where you can see through it. See, we cut out. Well, here's some here's some slides, some pictures where the radiator started. And we cut out the center section there. And we moved a couple of things on the inside of the radiator mount forward a little bit. Because at that time, we were trying to accommodate that V12. I do have something else in mind for that V12 down the road, too, though. And then here is our uh, framework, as you see. There was a little uh, mold indentation there that we filled in, sanded that smooth. Got up the top, all the mold ridge, ridges out of that. And uh, we'll be finishing this up. We'll be putting the mesh in it so you can see through it like a real radiator. Uh, you can go back to my real realistic radiators video and check that out if you want to. But I'll kind of go over that again. You'll be able to see it. And I'll probably do another CNR uh, high performance radiator in it. But uh, that 460, I'm looking forward to, to getting that thing in here. Um, this will be done. This takes no time. I'll get this radiator knocked out. Then uh, the cow vent, uh, that's just basically a little box out of sheet plastic. It's probably, eh, it might be 20 thousandths. Hold on. Um, but I'll get that done, or excuse me, 10 thousandths. I'll get that done where it'll be up and raised. I think that's just a nice little touch. But uh, this is kind of a cool little cool little uh, body. I don't know why I've never built one of these before. It's kind of cool. You can see I did a, an extra support. I don't know if you can see it there. I'll get my hand in there. You see that little bar across there? And you'll see the significance of that when I get the, the grill in there. Um, but kind of fun. Kind of fun. Going to get a lot done tomorrow. Um, and I've got a couple other videos coming up pretty soon. I want to share with you a real, a 1-1 car I got uh, over the holidays. That I That's one of the reasons I'm behind on this. I've been spending time uh, tinkering with it. Uh, it's, it's one I drove many, 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 many years ago. And uh, I came into possession of that car. And... Uh, uh, it's a fun car to drive. Uh, Amanda's eager and, and looking forward to putting around and having some fun with it. That's a totally separate video, and I'll share that with you uh, maybe in the next few days. Um, I think that's it for the moment, guys. I can't think of anything else um, that I've got on the 55 right now. But that's where we are right there, and uh, I'll give you an update in a few days. Anything you need, your MCW paints, head over to Mark and check out Mark's site at Hobby Nut Models. Be sure you check him out. Um, great, great inventory. I'll tell you some awesome tools, awesome stuff over there. Be sure you check it out. Let him know. It, uh, there's a link in the description area of this video that you can head over and click on. Take you straight to it. Any purchases you buy from him, that helps the channel out dramatically. So we, we do really help you or appreciate that very much. Wow. Uh, you, what a what a day it's been. I'm <laughs> getting all tongue-tied. Anyway, we love you guys. We appreciate you more than you know. We'll catch you in the next video. God bless.